Hello, my name is Abel and welcome to another episode of Proctor Card Tips. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get the most out of your trade-in, how it works, and how value is determined. What is a trade-in? A trade-in is when you use your current car value as a form of down payment to purchase the next vehicle that you're looking at. How is the worth of a car being determined? A couple of different factors come into play. Your trade-in's value is going to be determined based on the interior condition, exterior condition, and a couple of little things here and there such as tires, any check engine lights, even the color and rarity of the car itself. Now, to get the most value out of your trade-in, what you want to do is you want to just give it a good wash and a good vacuum. You don't have to pay for a full detail, but making it presentable to the dealership is definitely a plus in making your car more desirable. If you want to further improve your car's value, go ahead and take care of the small stuff that you can do by yourself. For example, if you have a little check engine light on there, get rid of it. Go take it to a nearby auto store, check out what it is. It may be something simple. Make sure you get rid of any check engine lights, update any tires. If you have bald tires, go get some budget friendly ones and put some on. If you're missing a hubcap, go to the auto parts store and put them on too. Make it more presentable inside and out. Question that I get asked a lot by friends of mine, will the trade-in value vary between dealerships? Absolutely it will. It's all based on any incentive that that current manufacturer has. Many times, some of those incentives get rolled into your trade-in value, therefore making it seem like you're getting more than what it really is worth. One of the factors that come into play are such incentives like rebates. Some manufacturers offer rebates or cash backs, and what happens is they apply that to your trade-in value. Your trade-in value is still worth the same. At the end of the day, what you need to look at is your vehicle's current market value and what it's worth as it sits. Now, if you still owe money on your car, you can still trade it in. That's not a problem. There's two ways of looking at it, though. If the car's value is more than what you owe on the car, no problem. The unused portion goes as a down payment on your new car. The rest of it goes to pay it off. If it's the other way around, the negative equity gets rolled into the new vehicle that you're going to be purchasing. Now, there's some extra benefits to trading it in. On top of getting the value of your car, in some states, like mine, you actually get tax credit from your trade-in that gets applied to the new car. So you don't pay full sales tax on your new car because you are trading something in. Now there's another key benefit when you're trading a car in. For example, some states apply, some states don't. My state, for example, your tag work. The tag that you currently have on your car gets transferred over to your new car. So therefore, you save some money by not having to repurchase a brand new tag. Thanks for tuning in. That's it. My name is Abel, and if you like what you saw, click the like button below or subscribe for more Proctor Car Tips.